Well, it's a bright sunny day here in Mississippi today, and here's the Matco truck. So, you guys come on, let's see what Matco Michael's got. Let's do it. Beautiful sunshiny day. Nice out there. It is. It is. Too pretty to be working in it. Uh, that's what I told her. I said maybe the day will end pretty quick. You know, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's not. It'll be more than likely Avery to call me about mm, two thirty-three and say, "Hey, we got your toolboxes in." And so we'll have to head to Tupelo to do that, and it'll end up being a seven thirty, eight o'clock kind of night, but. You know, that's fine with me because that means I get to unload that one to the carport. So I've already got my tools laid out, ready to put in it. Well, you'll have to send us a picture I'll for next week's picture. video that you finally using a toolbox. We, uh, I was hoping, I was hoping like heck to unload that thing um, Memorial Day weekend and and put my tools in it and everything. So we we had a cookout that Sunday, so I was outside kind of cleaning up for it, and all my tools are in this little roll around thing, and I'm like. I can unload that thing and I can have that thing loaded. But then I got a big old hole here and I'm like, I'm not yeah. doing that. <laughs> you know, I'm not doing that. So we uh, we left it on here, but it needs to hurry up and get unloaded. I'm pretty excited about it. You know, it's it's fun to have that anticipation of Well, it. what did y'all think about the party we had up here? Oh, it was fun. I got to meet a lot of people. Um, some I had met the first year. Mm -hmm. And then I met a lot of them that said, look, we really wanted to come the first year, but we were deemed essential and we couldn't get off. And, you know, it, it was really cool. I mean, people from Washington, D.C. was here, um, all over was yeah. here. I mean, I know um, there was just, it was crazy. Um, California, I think we had some people. Uh, Dallas. Mm -hmm. So just, I got to meet a lot of people. So, What would you all think about the band? The band was good. The band was good. Uh, it was fun. I know uh, I was still out here. I didn't realize what was going on out there. I was still out here and I could hear it. And I didn't even know it was a band at first. I thought it was just a radio station. I didn't even know. I got out of the truck yeah. and I saw everybody huddled up over there and I was like, oh, oh, okay. But yeah, it was, they were good. Well, how many blue ratchets did you end up selling? Well, I think the ceiling speaks for itself. I mean, it's. Well, I'm gonna turn this up here, but I think I'm gonna turn it in black and white. And that way, won't nobody <laughs> be confused that it might be on a Cornwell truck. So <laughs> let's do that. Now then, y'all can't tell what's blue and what ain't blue. And that way y'all won't we get confused and think you're on Cornwell. Yeah, it was completely full. Yeah, it was completely full. Which I'm we've just already... kidding. Let me go back to color here and that way y'all can see. <laughs> it's just being funny. Man, yeah. So how many, did you count them? How many you sold? Well, I had uh, right at 13 of the 3 eighths, and I've only got one left. So I know I sold 12 of them. And I had 13 of these. I've only got seven left. Um, but I mean, I sold, well, also on the three eighths, I had three black and blue. So that actually makes 15 of the three eighths that I sold. So I sold a lot more of the three eighths. And if I could have got a lot more of the three eighths, I'd have had a lot more, <laughs> but uh, I didn't. But I sold more half inches too than what I was thinking. I, yeah. I had, uh, I sold two or three half inches, so uh, ratchet's so good, period. I mean, I had a couple people buy different color than blue um, to do uh, conversion kits. Mm -hmm. We converted some over, um, but some people's favorite color was red. Some people's favorite color was green. Yeah, and um, that's why it's good to have choices. Yeah, so we sold we sold several ratchets. I think in total we probably sold somewhere close to twenty five to twenty six ratchets cool. altogether. That's good. So 
sold a bunch of ratchets. Sold other stuff too, though. I mean, I sold AC gauges, um, a couple different styles of lights, just random, random stuff that they had had their eye on that mm -hmm. they were here, so they were going to get it. So cool, 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 cool. Yeah, it turned out good. Um, well, have you got anything new and exciting this uh, week? Let's look, yeah, I got something new. Um, it's right back here on the back wall. Uh, okay. We've had that uh, hood light for a while, and people wanted the light and just not the hood style. Mm -hmm. So they've actually come out with it. I'll bring it up here and take it out. So it's the same light, but it just don't have the hood hooks Yeah, it's on the it. same style light. Y'all see why he knows how good his tools are. He durability tests everything. That's it, everything. So I like this magnet for a couple different reasons. Uh, I've always liked that you could adjust here. This thing's got a really stout magnet right here. Yep. It's magnet here and magnet here, and then it's got like a non-scratch deal here. Mm -hmm. So I think body shops could really use this light. Or maybe like the that, uh, paintless dent repair, the way they gotta have their light. Yeah. I'm sure they gotta have a certain light though, but um, of course I put it upside down. But So now it's it's stuck to the vehicle or whatever it may be. Um, and you can adjust the light so you get really good, you know, span of light instead mm -hmm. of just all in one spot. So I really like the magnet on that thing. Yeah, that's cool right there. Let me get you all the part numbers. She might be fussing at me if I don't show <laughs> the part number. MWLBBL. Which we oh, still got good. more stuff coming in too from Expo. It's, it's slowly coming in, but um, I need, I'm trying to wait on my Max 4 demo. I'm, I'm really ready to show that to everybody. Yeah. Like I have so many people that when we talked about a lab scope, they, their eyes got big, and then when I told them that it helped them use the lab scope, kind of walk them through it. Their eyes got even bigger, so um, a lot of people want to use a lab scope until they have to, but we're mm -hmm. gonna give them the. <laughs> if they've never <laughs> used it, you know, they they think it's the greatest thing ever, but uh, we'll see. When cool. They start having cool, to use cool. it. But I'm I'm ready for it. Which uh, we talked about the spinning T handles last week. We sold mm -hmm. the the hex style already, but and then uh, we put the Mega Jump Two on here. Uh, it's a bigger jump pack, so we were carrying the which we 4, still forty five hundred amp. Yeah, wow. Which we we always had that Versa Pro um, two and the three, and we still have that. But I had people wanting you know bigger and bigger, so mm -hmm. we ordered this as well, which um, had a lot of people ready to buy it. But I have one guy in mind, and he was on vacation last week. So I told him I'd pick it up for him. So I'm saving it for him. So uh, I didn't want to sell it out from underneath him. That wouldn't be right. right. But uh, we're also starting to get redbacks in more. So our customers who've been waiting on yeah, redbacks, yeah. you know, it's it's still slower than what it mm -hmm. used to be, and probably should be. Uh, well, I definitely than it should be. Uh, but with them having that strike over there and everything else, nobody wanting to go to work apparently. It just took more time than what we would like, but we uh, we we are starting to get more red backs in and stuff like that. So good deal. Which well, I said if you had any of the little quarter inch left, well, I we wanted one. one so left. that's good, good for me. I just didn't want to buy one because I mean I knew you could get me one at any time. Yeah. You know yeah. I mean it may be a little harder, but some of these guys don't even have a Matco dealer, so. Yeah, well, and that's what, you know, it really surprised me to talk to some of these people. The first thing I would ask is, hey, can we get on your truck? I'm like, yeah, you know, come on up. Uh, and for a while, I didn't know why I was being asked that, you know. I was yeah. like, well, well, why am I? And then uh, one of the guys that was here was like, you know, tool trucks are totally different down here. And I was like, well, what do you mean? He's like, back at home, if you ain't working in a shop, you don't get on a tool truck. He said, you know, he told me that uh, he had went and tried to get on a tool truck because he lives away from town and stuff and the guy pretty much told him he didn't want it i mean he didn't come out and say i don't want your business he's but you know he had offered to meet him and stuff like that and he acted like he didn't want to do it so 
I don't know about you, man, but I'm not one to turn down money. Well, you know, Especially we have, when somebody calls you and says, I want to buy something. Yeah, well, and that's yeah, the thing, you know, this this guy said, look, I don't want an account. I'm going to pay you cash. All I need you to do is just call me and say, hey, I'm almost here. I'm here. He said, if, if I don't answer or, or you text me and I don't respond, don't wait on me. Keep going. And I'm like, well, heck, that's a golden situation there, you know. And that's like we have people that... Mm. You know, we'll be out eating somewhere, and somebody will call us. Hey, you know, where are you at? Like, oh, we're, well, I'm eating right now uh, at such and such. I know I'm outside. Um, just go ahead and get done eating, and and uh, I need to get something off your truck. Of course, I'm not the type. Of, I like money too much, so I'm done eating at that point. It don't matter if I just started. I'm done. So, I mean, it did that to us at Cracker Barrel. We had just yeah. got sat down. Down. I think they had. I maybe took two or three bites, and the guy's like, "Hey, I'm looking for some drill bits," and I'm like, oh, "Okay, well, you know." Uh, where are you at? He goes, I'm beside your truck. I'm like, oh, okay. So I go out there and I forget where he was from. He's up either up north or Missouri. So he was just passing by and saw us and he's like, hey, I, you know, I called the snap on guy, which it, it's not Joven, so don't don't associate it with Joven. It's a different one. You know, I called him. He he didn't seem interested. So do you have any? I'm like, yeah, yeah here I come. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we went out there and I was. You know, like, Make that money, man. That's, and that's I, good, I, I don't that's... care where I'm at. I, I've had people pull up at the house. They just pass him by and see yeah. the truck. Which it works two ways. Do you have some people wanting to buy something, and you have some people wanting to warranty something, and that's cool. Mm -hmm. um, I've had a couple people that have saw the truck, and they'll bring me a tool to warranty, and I'm like, yeah, okay, and I open it up, and it's a Mac tool, and it's like, uh, this is Mac, not Mac O, and it's like, oh, I forgot. I'm sorry. <laughs> So then they'll end up buying something. So I was like, okay, that, well, that works. Cool. Well, I guess oh, we're going to... That's oh. new, too. I oh, forgot yeah. about that. You know, we was having trouble um, the getting new rails. The, the style like you have, mm -hmm. the twist lock. Um, that company was having some really big issues um, getting stuff. So Mako teamed up with somebody to come out with this one here. Uh, and I really like this one because we don't ever have problems with the balls falling out of these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mine's almost all ballless. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have no problems out of these, so. Um, and this has a magnet on the back, and this is what I really like. It's got two huge magnets. Yeah. And I think it says it's, uh, let me read it. I think it said 50 or 55 pounds is what it'll hold. Holy so cow. So 55 pounds of sockets that you can put on. Now, if you start putting a whole lot of half inch, you're mm -hmm. going to use that up pretty quick. But if you had a quarter and three eighths, you know, and a couple half on here, I'm going to say you can put that on the side of your toolbox and just walk over and grab what you need when you need it, yeah. right? That's nice. Or, or a lift. Or Is that the only like. color it comes in? It's the only color it comes in right now. Um, I think they're giving it a try to see how it does. But it's new. Um, I've got two of them. Um, it's got just, a handle on it. Yeah, yeah it's got a handle, handle on it. And see, the like handle that. folds out of the way, so you can tote it, and then you and see it sticks below the magnet, so you right. still got plenty of room. So 55 pounds is pretty good. Like now, if you load it up with axle sockets, you're going to use that mm -hmm. 55 up pretty quick. That's true. But and that's I, pretty sharp right there. Well, and I like that you can take these off. So, well, I don't need any half inches. You can just take that off, just like that. We're not unscrewing nothing mm -hmm. like on the other one. And you can just take and slide your quarter inch, three eighths. I mean, it could be all quarter if you wanted it, which. I like the lock-in way that those other ones lock on. I like the lock-in. I like the magnets on the side of it a lot. Yeah. Because that's where I keep like, you know, my universal wobbles and stuff yeah. like that. Well, I really like the other one, but I wish that we could, you know, I've had them on order for what, six months now? And, and I know some customer reached out to me He's had them ordered for a while too, and his main thing was, hey, is my dealer really not being able to get them, or is he just not ordering them? No, he's really not able to get them. I mean, yeah. we, that's why I told him, I said, well, you know, we can't even get them. So I know that that he's having trouble just like we are, but mm -hmm. yeah, there, there's gonna be a couple of new things here or there that hasn't been on the truck that we'll sprinkle in, so. Cool. All right, guys, well, we're going to get back after it. Like always, thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes are down here. And if you're not subscribed, it's real easy. You take your finger and you press that button. You guys have a great weekend. Catch you later.